One, go. And we're off in the autonomous period. Team 180 goes for their multi-ball auto on the blue side of the field, while 624 Kryptonite does the same on the red side. Two in for red, two in for blue at the end of the totally operated period. Team Galactech goes to pick up two quick on the red side of the field. And two in for blue as well. Team 5484 has two red balls in their possession. They are using that to play defense on the blue side. Oh, and two short for Celt X as well on the red side. Triple Helix has two cargo in the possession. One, two in for blue. One, two in for red from Celt X as well in the upper hub. 180 with their targeting lights lighting the floor. And a lot of defense being played by the Wolf Pack as they block the shots from 54.06. A lot of heavy hits on the blue side of the field as well. And Celtex manages to shoot one in under heavy defense. Ooh, team from Caddy, Texas shoots in from the launch pad on the red side of the field. Has 60 seconds left and a very tight score with blue having the advantage by six. One in for red, one in for blue from each side of the field. And a long shot from team 180. A long shot from team 624 as well. These teams are trying to get any cargo they can in the upper hub. Oh, and nice four in for blue to help sway the score their way. Team Galactech is going in for a climb with 30 seconds left. 54-84, both teams from Indiana are going in for their climbs. Let's see who can get to the high rung first and the traversal rung. Team 4926 Galactech looks like they're having trouble reaching that upper bar while the Wolf Pack pulls up for the traversal climb. Let's see if anybody else can get up on top round. Oh, yes. Celtex hangs in the last second as the match ends. Ready? And the scores are up. The Blue Alliance takes this win with a score of 145 to 119. All RPs on around the table are taken. Four RPs for blue and two RPs for red.